since Jessica DeNova spoke with a man who previously lived with Monica, that man says he once heard Monica arguing and then firing a gun. It's tonight's top story at six. I don't have room, I don't have family over here. She said, yeah, move on my property. Pati Pompana says he took up Susan Monica on her offer, paying the Rogue River woman accused of two murders rent for nearly four years. Pana says he was the only long-term guest on the property during his time there. Someday I saw people come, new face, new people come, come two weeks, three weeks. But Pana says he see, never knew the names start. of the people working on the Not suspect's yet, property or the identity of a man he overheard Monica um, arguing with about money in 2012. She shot gun, boom, boom. Go out my property right like now. I don't see. Who is this? I don't know. I listen. I sit inside my room. <gasps> I say, oh my goodness. Scare me. Pana says he saw that man drive away, and though he never found out what happened to five sheep he gifted Monica, he believes they suffered the same fate as two others. She killed a sheep. Boom. Keep to pick is. According to Pana, Monica accused his cat of eating her chicks. A night time, too many animals come. Hey, she think my cat. She killed my cat. Bana's pit bull and hound also fell victim to Monica and were then fed to her pigs according to their owner. He says though he's sure of what happened to his pets, he's not sure what led to the corpses found on Monica's property. I don't have idea like this. Um, she killed people. Were you ever nervous or scared of her? No. Covering your news in Merlin, Jessica Denova, News 10. Pana also says it was forced to open his own private mailbox because he discovered Monica was opening his mail. Tonight, detectives and search crews continue to work on Monica's property. Today, Jackson County Sheriff's detectives and Oregon State Police were seen going in and out of Monica's property on West Evans Creek Road. Here's a new picture of the woman accused of double murder and abuse of a corpse. A mugshot from a 2009 arrest. It's here right now. Jackson County Sheriff's Office says it will most likely be on the scene for several more days. Detectives will not confirm if detectives are looking for more bodies. And that man, Pana, helped Monica build her home for years. A home that would likely never be finished. That's according to Jackson County building inspectors. We continued your total coverage tonight of the investigation by showing you an inside look into Monica's property. These are pictures taken by building inspectors about five years ago of Susan Monica's property. Inspection records show she bought her farm back in 1991. Work started after that, building a two-bedroom, two-story home. Also on the property, this metal storage shed and a barn. Jackson County building inspectors say Monica had no heat, no kitchen, but a new basement was built in 2005. Records show building inspectors visited Monica's farm multiple times in the last 10 years. Written comments on inspection documents say the home Monica was working on was only 9% complete and was very unlikely it would ever be finished. So here's what we know so far. Monica is behind bars for murder. Pana says she has previously seen her feeding animals to her pigs. When we asked a close friend about Monica's uh, about where those pigs are tonight. They say the Jackson County Sheriff's Office is having someone take care of them on Monica's property. You can view our continuing coverage of the Monica murder investigation. Just go to our website at ktvl.com.